Okay, welcome back to the lecture control theory one. So today uh, I will cover two parts. First one is uh, simulation using zoom link for some control architecture that continue from the last lecture. And the second part would be a uh, practical part on using a DC motor with uh, control hardware. Oh, so let me straight go to slide 31. Um, I will review a little bit about uh, how to design controller for some control architecture. Uh, starting from this architecture, which is a feedback control of position um, and using proportional controller P. Um, so Okay, so in feedback control, the, the goal is to have actual theta approach to theta d, which means the error of e theta approach to zero. Okay. So how can we choose kp, kp1? Uh, I use uh, one here to um, make correspondent to the equation one, two, three, so on. Okay. So how we can can we choose the right value k p one such that theta approach to the desired theta d, or meaning to say theta e theta the error approach to zero as t tend to infinity. So we start from the plan, the modeling of the plan, this equation, where VA is the control input. Uh, I can recall the, the setup. So, okay, let's say we have a DC motor. Okay. So it's rotate theta, theta dot, theta double dot, like this. And we have two terminal plus minus. And so the voltage we supply to plus minus. So this is VA. And the VA can be controlled. Okay. So from this plan, this, this model, um, we choose VA equal to KP times the error. So VA is here. VA equal to KP times, yeah, VA equal to KP one times the error. And substitute this VA into this equation. So we have VA is as a factor here. So V times here. And this, this part actually uh, plus this and minus this. Okay, same thing. This H minus H. So this cancel out actually. But why I do this? Because I want to have this kind of form. Right? Uh, so rearrange this equation. Uh, rearrange this equation. I can have uh, f times theta dot minus theta d dot, so on like, like this. And this one, I I put it here and also put here, okay? 
so they can cancel out actually but again why put like this because I want error double dot here error dot here and then error here okay so that's why I can get this equation and come back to the goal what we want is to have e theta approach to, to zero as t approach to infinity so if we can have the right hand side is zero right if right hand side is zero of course we can have e theta approach to zero as t tend to infinity so for regulation control for regulation control the tally is constant okay so the tally dot the tally double dot are zero well for um, most of system every, everything start from zero so the tally dot and the double dot the tally double dot at the initial is zero but then it jump to uh, a certain value what I'm trying to say is uh, let's say the theta d is a step a step function like this so it mean uh, around this time there is a certain jump of value theta d which means theta d dot uh, and theta d double dot are not zero just very, at a very short amount of time but after that they all zero so at the steady state we are sure that the error will approach to zero but for the transient we don't know yet that's what we need to investigate in the simulation okay um, then how can we choose kp properly uh, from this equation one, we can have characteristic equation. Lambda square plus a lambda plus v k p. A plus B K P one equal to zero, and compared to the standard form like this, we can say two zeta omega and equal to A and B K one. Equal to omega n square. So we have limitation uh, of zeta and omega n. If we choose one, we automatically get another one okay? because we only have uh, one parameter for the controller. That's why we can choose only or can choose only one parameter, one desired desired uh, performance. I would say, for example, if you want to choose damping ratio, then we cannot choose OBN. Okay. Um, so let's say let's for simulation for simulation later. Let's choose. Zeta equal to one. One is too big. This is zero point. Mm. Okay, let's say one first. Then omega n must be a over two zeta. So. Kp 
1 equal to uh, a over 2 zeta over b. Okay. So this is controller KP1. Okay. The next architecture, the next control architecture is using <coughs> PD controller. P mean proportional, D mean derivative. Okay, so proportional derivative controller PD. So similarly, we can derive uh, the equation in terms of error. Okay, we start from the plan and then choose controller VA as this term. Yeah, again, E theta is equal to theta D minus theta. So E theta dot equal to theta D dot minus theta dot. Right? So here, this part is uh, if I take B as a factor here, so here is KD, KD2, KD2, E, the dark. This one is KP2, E, the dark. So which means this part is VA. Okay. So once we choose VA, we substitute into this equation and then we can have this. And this part again, I just add and subtract because finally I can have, I can have this term as uh, E the data, okay? And this term is to add on the left hand side and so add to the right hand side, okay? So finally, we can have the equation in terms of error. E theta double dot, E theta <coughs> here, and E theta here. Again, for this equation, we can achieve E theta approach to zero if the right-hand side is zero. Okay, if the right-hand side go to zero, then E theta will approach to zero as t tend to infinity. Yeah, again, for regulation control, this is fine. And uh, we can achieve the goal at the steady state. But how can we choose the right KD2 and KP2? Then we, again, we write the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation lambda square plus a plus b k2 kd sorry kd2 time lambda plus oops b k p2 okay equal to zero then we compare with the standard form to zeta omega n uh, lambda plus omega n square equal to zero. So from this, you can have kp2 equal to omega n square over b and kd2 equal to 2 zeta omega n minus a over b okay so we can choose this two value properly <clears throat> okay the next control architecture is using pid controller proportional integral and derivative pid okay so we we use the same process by choosing VA and substitute VA into the plan equation. So actually, uh, VA is combination of 
this is p from p if from i or uh, from derivative okay this one is from i and this one from d okay so p i d i just rearrange just change the order and this one is just add and subtract okay and then rearrange the equation to have um, error like this is error 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 double dot error dot error and this one integral of error in order to have to, to get the characteristic equation easily so I take the derivative on both sides take the relative both sides then we can have the third order like this okay oh I made a mistake again oh my goodness I lost all what I wrote here so this one because we take the time derivative we do not have the integral term anymore right yeah like this So now the characteristic equation would be um, lambda 2 to 3 plus bkd3 plus a lambda square plus bk bkp3 lambda plus bki three equal to zero and we compare to the standard form uh, not not really standards we have a standard form for second order but we use a trick uh, not really a trick but uh, we already know that uh, this equation at least it has one real root right for the third order polynomial equation so choose lambda 1 yeah, we can choose lambda 1 and then we can write rewrite it in terms of a factor of lambda plus lambda 1 it means the real root is minus lambda 1 and then we have the second order and use the standard form Yeah, then expand it. Lambda square would be lambda one here plus two zeta omega n plus lambda lambda omega n square plus Two zeta omega n lambda one <coughs> times lambda and then plus lambda one omega n square equal to zero. So we can compare with this, okay? With the we compare the coefficient. This is how we can choose KP, KD, and KI. Uh, so KP would be KP would be omega n square plus yeah. So KP uh, omega n square plus two zeta omega n lambda one. 
over b k i 3 equal to omega 1 uh, lambda 1 omega n square over b correct yes and then k d 3 equal to lambda 1 plus 2 zeta omega n 2 zeta omega n minus a over b okay this time I should keep right And then should be four. Yeah, equation four. Yeah, the four architecture. So for the fourth architecture, I want to I want the right hand side to be exactly zero. So in any case of theta d dot or theta d double dot, we can always have e theta approach to zero as t tends to infinity. Right? So what should we do? Um, so now from yeah from this plan we choose VA as PD controller, so here PD controller and add some compensation. We can call this compensation. Okay, compensation one, compensation two, for example. So let's call this COM one, this one is COM two. Um, <clears throat> so VA now is so this is KD E dot E theta dot this one is KP E theta and this one is compensation one this one is compensation two right so finally rearrange this equation you have the equation in terms of error with the right hand side as zero right so this is the the good one the good architecture because you can choose whatever the study looks like okay? and if compared to the uh, if we find the characteristic equation, characteristic equation lambda square plus a plus bkd, I would call this kd4. If I use term this for four like this, four like this, four like this, and plus b. K P four. Oh, this one we have lambda plus four to zero. Yeah, compare with the standard form. So K P four equal to omega n square over b. K D four equal to two zeta omega n dot minus minus a over b. Okay. Yeah.
That's all for control architecture. No, there is another one, which is called uh, cascade control. This one is called cascade because, uh, yeah, why call it cascade? Because we have uh, velocity feedback as in a loop. Velocity feedback back as in a loop. And position feedback. as outer loop double T or T like this okay right so here is velocity feedback And here is portion feedback. <clears throat> so, how can we find the right controller for velocity feedback and portion feedback? So, in this case, um, we only use proportional controller. Actually, this control architecture has the same form of full state feedback control. But because full state feedback control theory would be included in the control theory too, so I don't uh, mention it how. But uh, for this, uh, this looks like classical control, so. Uh, I, I will only expand this and the controller uh, that should be selected can be only proportional so you can see here for velocity feedback the controller is proportional for position feedback the controller is also proportional okay. there's no derivative term there's no integral term uh, and the way to design it, okay, this is the plan, the same as the previous equation, but now I just change from theta to phi uh, because when I derive this, I intended uh, to use it for mobile robot and to avoid confusion of parameter, I change uh, 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 to avoid confusion of variable, so I change here. Okay. So from the plan, uh, we choose the control input U. Um, so here, uh, <coughs> we want to design a controller U such that we obtain the final equation taking this form. Okay. Here is the second derivative of the error for the theta. Here is the, can, uh, the, the first derivative of the error for the theta, uh, for, for the angle. And this one is the error of the angle. Okay. Uh, coefficient here is alpha plus uh, a plus some alpha. We do not know yet what alpha takes form. And beta here. We do not know yet. And the control that we want to choose is. Uh, okay, U control voltage that we choose is U proportional to uh, this error and I denote this one as a phi C and this is phi okay and plus compensation 1 and compensation 2 okay so somehow this controller have the part of controller in this case 
compensation one and compensation two. However, this compensation here and compensation here are not necessarily the same. Okay. Um, then substitute u into the plan equation here. Okay. And we can have this form and we still have phi dot c here. Phi dot c here. Um, yeah, phi dot c. Sorry, and it is phi dot. This is phi dot c. Okay. We still have phi dot c here, but phi dot c here equal to a proportional gain time error phi, error angle, this one. Okay. Then this equation can be rewritten as yeah this term. And finally, we can rearrange to have error of phi and error of derivative of error of phi and here error of phi like this okay and for the right hand side we can have relation uh, expression in terms of compensation one compensation two phi dot one and phi dot phi d dot and phi d double dot and because the goal is to have error approach to zero as t approach to infinity it means we take the right hand side to be zero and that's and by this way we can uh, obtain alpha beta oh, okay alpha beta can be compared like this we compare this with this, we can have alpha. We compare this with this, we can have beta. And take the right hand side to be zero. We can have compensation one, compensation two. Okay. Then this equation of error. Yeah, this is the same error. So the right hand side is zero now. And then write the characteristic equation compared to the standard form. Finally, we can design controller yeah, choosing k1 to be this and k2 to be this. Okay. So we have four different control architecture. Sorry, five. Five different control architecture. Just four position control. Oh, but the last the last two is position tracking okay position tracking yeah this one also tracking uh, so from one to three just for regulation control and four and five for tracking okay Um, so the next part is to build a swim link model. I will, I will show only the first architecture to, to see the workflow, what you should have, what you should do. And then you will build the other architecture by yourself. Okay? So we simulate all the five architecture in one swim link model. Um, yeah, so I will, I will brief the step here. So same as what we did before, we use one M file. 
and one sibling file, right? So what a file first part is to uh, assign A, B, and then choose Zeta. Oh. Hmm? Uh, choose Zeta of Yen. Step 3 Compute Compute K P1 K P2 I think maybe this way K P1 There's no K P2 I guess No, I mean, there's no KD2, or KD1, so KP2, KD2, KP3, KI3, KD3, 1, 2, 3, and 4, KP4, KD4, and last K1, K2 K1, K2 for the last architecture and then step 4 call simulink file or we can say execute simulink file And step five, report result by graph. Okay. And small sibling file architecture one. And then we'll hope up to architecture five. Architecture five. Okay. So first choose assign A and, A and B. So A equal to 30, B equal to 20. Next choose Zeta and Ohm yen. Uh, zeta equal to say 1 Ohm yen equal to 2 times pi times frequency uh, say 2 and then compute
just capitalize the first letter. Compute controller called <coughs> controller coefficient. Okay, P equal to KP1. KP1 equal to I don't remember. Architecture of ones, this one. Um, A equal to 2 zeta omega n and then BKP equal to BKP1 equal to omega n square so we choose to this one already we can choose only zeta zeta for 1 and then omega n should must be so this one uh, omega n I would say omega n uh, omega n 1 omega n 1 would be a over 2 zeta so kp1 would be omega n1 square over b <coughs> kp1 equal to now before that i should compute omega n1 equal to a divided by 2 divided by zeta and then kp1 equal to omega n1 square over b and then kp2 kp2 equal to this architecture this equation looks like equation 4 I think. yeah this one look like this one so <clears throat> kp2 this one kp2 equal to omega n square over b kd2 equal to 2 time of parenthesis 2 time zeta time omega n minus a divided by b and I wrote it now k kp4 actually equal to k kp2 and kd4 equal to kd2 how about kd3 kp3 equal to check this equation kp3 equal to omega n square plus 2 times zeta times omega n times lambda 1 okay so I need to assign lambda 1 uh, over B so I would say assign a B and lambda 1 here lambda 1 so don't forget here lambda 1 lambda 1 equal to minus 14 
and KP3, KI3 equal to lambda 1 plus 2 times zeta times omega n minus a over b oops ki this is kd so ki should be here ki3 equal to lambda 1 lambda 1 times omega n square over b okay and the last case k1 and k2 K1 equal to omega n square over b and K2 equal to 2 times zeta I think it looks like this one right? Anyway, just write it. Uh, zeta times omega n minus a over b. Okay. Now I build a similar model. Oh, okay. Um, I would call yeah the next step call simulating file. Execute. Execute simulating file. Um, for my version, I can write like this: data equal to sim. Uh, I would call this simulating two. Uh, by control architecture dot slh dot slh yeah I use data like this so that I can I can write uh, when I want to plot a report report result by graph I can write plot delta dot t with delta dot for example h one like this so I leave it now I, I leave this uh, like this first because we will simulate and then we will make some adaptation in terms of choosing that data that we want to store in the workspace okay um, okay in the simulating uh, first we build a plan plan so we start from MATLAB function yeah MATLAB function and inside MATLAB function inside this MATLAB function uh, the plan is theta dot dot yeah I use O instead of theta okay at the dot dot 
d dot just use just use omega is fine dw like this here is va and here is w so dw equal to minus a, a, we need to use A here plus B times U. So perhaps I need to uh, bring A and B here. Okay. I want to bring A and B in here too. That's it. Cell or sim2 file control architecture architecture file control architecture with s <laughs> if you um, follow my my script please also modify here sorry for any inconvenience so i sell um to uh, file control architecture So once we have MATLAB function, then we can put integrator, integrator initial condition zero, it's fine, here. So after one integrator, we have uh, omega. Okay? And then we have another integrator to get theta, right? Yeah. So here is omega dot. So here is omega. Okay, omega. And so here theta. Yeah, actually, you want uh, math equation symbol here. You can tie that up. Yeah, uh, I put a scope here. I put a scope and also two work spec. So omega yeah, is here for the plan only. So after then we need uh, VA. VA before VA for the first architecture. For the first architecture, slide 31. Uh, we and then we have gain KP, so gain and write down KP1, enter. Right, here is KP1. And then we have sum. Okay, sum, click here, SUM, enter, and list of sign, plus, minus, okay, oops, maybe you need to put this sign, <coughs> ah. 
this sign should be here. Okay. And then we use step. Step or constant is fine. It's just say a ah, constant is better. Constant initial value. Let's say ten. A ah, constant value, not initial. And feedback for the data. So here is feedback. A and B are constant. Constant. So write down it A. Constant. Just write down it B. I will use A and B multiple time. So I will use go to. Go to routing signal routing and here is a this is from and then go to enter b and then take this one out as from so i move this up there a connect to a B connect to B from A put here. Go from can be used multiple time. From A from B. Right. And go to workspace, to workspace, variable name, and here I use uh, data. Yeah, data. And don't forget to change it to array and to the array. And I should have clock, C O L C K, and two workspace. I use time T. Okay, so double click here and change it to T. Yeah, to get time. So in MATLAB on file, we plot data.t and data.data .data actually here. And uh, because this is not, data is not vector, it's not uh, only one dimension. 
then I mean only one column then I just use theta directly like this yeah I think it's all good to go then I can run oh I forgot to change sampling time right there's no result here any something wrong with this simplify control architectures dot slh By control architectures, this is the passage. Warning. This is just warning. Signal dimension, where are the signal dimension? Uh, this shouldn't be a problem. But let me let me change parameter to be uh, Euler, uh, change a solver to be quick step. And Step size zero point zero one, and choose just Euler. Let me see this one again. Oh, it's not you, but VA. Oh my goodness, this is VA, not you. Yeah, be careful in my lab function. Try again. Okay, here is the result. Run up to 10 seconds. Uh, let me choose TF uh, only AB lambda 1 and TF and lambda 1. So TF equal to say 5 seconds. Oh, just four second and run it. Yeah, here it is. Four second. So actually, the the response is just around one second. Chắc lấy nó cho preference number đầu phần nó xem How can I go to preference to change the font size? Simulation. Only here. Oh, not in simulations. Yeah, here. Font. I think I can just use 14 okay there you go
Okay. But the concern is there. Put it to Telegram. Oops. Print screen only. Yeah, actually, to build a second architecture is very easy. Just copy. Uh, so I show this one as well. Uh, copy from here. Just from here only. Control C. Control V here. And then I expand this one to the right hand side a little bit. 
yes and now we have PD right PD so here is P and then we got uh, KD2 KD2 here is KP2 but because uh, we need to add both of them right we need to add both of them so click add add mat operation here yeah plus plus is fine so but this one before we get uh, this one we need derivative pd right pd so we need derivative derivative is the yeah, derivative okay put here yeah it's like this <coughs> kp2 kd2 and here is the top one So I can change this one figure one for the town one or maybe I want to plot together. I can put parent uh, put a bracket and then that dot that one bracket. Okay. Oh. Tag present request. What happened? Ah. I wrote figure one here, but where is it? What happened? I cannot even sell this. Why I cannot even sell this? Error writing into the general um uh, the type present in the parse point buffer is invalid. it no close it <laughs> error loading Hmm. 
And anyone wrote all the, the script, can you send to me? I don't want to rewrite. You can send via Telegram. I don't know why I got this error message. Who, who, who finished the script on farm? No comment at all. Just wrote it. Um, two. You want already exist. Yes. Okay, slightly different. TF equal to where is TF? Oh, you don't use, eh? there's no TF here. TF equal to four, and in the sibling, we can. Where is my sibling?
one is equal uh, one is forty, not minus forty. Sorry. Um, the the root is minus lambda one. So lambda one we choose to be forty. Sorry. <coughs> So to finish this tool first, so, uh, the remaining remaining should be assignment.
Um, so if you complete both of this architecture, then assignment would be to complete all the five architecture, right? And you you can do in group. So I will show the group name, group number here. So I will take a snapshot. Sleep. So group from one to five or oh, four. Yeah. Okay. And I will give the report template. I give the report template as well. Um, so where do I put it? Uh, then the control. Where do I put it? All lab. Uh, report template version zero version I don't know which one. <laughs> Maybe this one. So for for the first page, you can put anything you like, but the content should be background, objectives, approach, result, and discussion, conclusion. For future, future works, next steps can be future work. Background, just what you should uh, briefly writing. Uh, objective, use concise, active works. Okay, you produce, you want to simulate this model, this model. You want to reproduce if you repeat other others' work, or you want to investigate any problems. Say. And then approach, yeah, this is a hint for you to think about what you should write in approach. Resign discussion, okay, explain the result, discuss or make comparison, whatever you can see, you can just say it. And conclusion, next step, okay. I have example one, and also for DC motor, so background is very short, and no worry, you can use it. An objective, okay, it's like this, like this. Pro I can I can do simulation uh, in two ways. So approach one using classical way, approach two using state space model, and then we are simulating compare both of them, okay, something like that. Okay, this is template. You use use this template, and just use a PowerPoint, okay. Not uh, very difficult. Okay, I will send to Telegram now, but I will upload to model later. This one for a quick. Yeah, you, you can quickly get it. But the reference will be in the model. All right. So uh, we still have. So I think. Uh, We, we will have only the last, uh, say, 10 minutes just to see the, the, the apparatus in the farm lab. Okay, we, we, we don't do the practical yet uh, because we have four hours for the practical work. So today I will only uh, show you what you need, what software you need to install to your PC in order, you, uh, in order to be able to use uh, to implement, to, to yeah, to, to conduct the instrumentation. Uh, so here, let me explain very briefly. Um, so you already have MATLAB and Simulink, that's fine. And then you s install Simulink support package for Arduino. And if you install uh, MATLAB support package for Arduino as well, that's fine. But at least you need to have Simulink support package for Arduino. And you must install Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. Uh, I use the term all here. 
but actually this one is much better uh, it has a complete complete uh, set and any, any of you use Linux if you use Linux you don't need to install any of this okay so how, how to install support package you go to add on here and then you you have the another interface and type here simply support package for Arduino. And then you get this. If you have not installed it yet, you don't see install appear here like this. Okay. So because I already installed it, then I can see this. Um, then you install Microsoft Visual Studio 2017, and just use the community. Don't need to use enterprise or other uh, so this is free and 2017 is the best one do not use newer version or older version okay to avoid any trouble and then yeah when you install from the installation manager you only click check on this tool the visual studio has many things okay just take this tool after then, when you open your MATLAB, you check whether the comp compiler is figured to this Microsoft uh, Visual Studio, right? Because this is the compiler that uh, interpret all the code into C code for Arduino, okay? And yeah, so here it's just a, a tutorial how you uh, test with uh, Arduino, right? So I don't explain today. I will explain later during uh, Yeah, when we have the next class, uh, we will do the practical activity starting from this, okay? And so But I suggest you Explore it uh, yourself at home uh, especially once you already install all the necessary software and package support package then please explore this and test a little bit first before we get to the real practical activity okay um, so let me and now